Welcome to Sarah's Tarot. Here is your weekend guidance for Friday the 23rd of April to Sunday the 25th. I'm using the Knights' Tarot and this is a reading for all signs and I shall begin with Aries. So what's coming in for the weekend for Aries? Oh, bang on, Queen of Wands Aries. You've also got the Two of Wands and the Four of Swords Aries. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Hmm. So, first of all, I feel drawn to the Four of Swords. So there's a need to sort of pull back a little bit this weekend Aries. Have a bit of a break. Take a rest from all the busyness of life because it could be quite a busy weekend there appears to be a lot going on with this queen of wands energy coming in okay the queen of wands relates to your sign uh fire sign energy of aries leo or sag so it's bang on for you this weekend you really are stepping into your power this weekend and it's all systems go okay there is so much that you want to do, so much that you want to achieve. And I, what I want to say is you could be in danger of burning yourself out a little bit. So do take time to relax, won't you? There's also a decision that you may need to make this weekend, okay? And this is a major move forward. It will resonate differently for everyone, but some of you are really thinking about your future at the moment and I do feel that you've already made a start in a new direction many of you and this weekend you may get the chance to take things that one step further so busy weekend but do make sure you find time for some peace and solitude and allow yourself to recharge have a lovely weekend Aries so this is for Taurus, what's coming in for Taurus for the weekend? Okay, Taurus, Ace of Swords, the Three of Cups, lovely card, lovely card, and the Temperance card, okay, so, okay, okay. So I'm attracted to the Three of Cups for you, first of all, Taurus. Now it's Taurus season at the moment. The sun has moved into your sign. So many of you will be celebrating birthdays, etc. So there could be a birthday this weekend uh, for some of you watching. Um, certainly there appears to be a chance to let your hair down in some way. It could be you're spending time with friends, close members of the family, but I just feel a sense of relaxation and the relief to actually be able to share some fun and laughter with other people. I feel you could really do with this. You really need it. Um, You've got the Ace of Swords, so there does appear to be a lot on your mind at the moment, but you are achieving clarity this weekend. I do feel you've been thinking about something for quite some time, Taurus, but as you can see, clarity is coming to you. You're getting a sort of sixth sense or... You could you could find you have a bit of a wake up call this weekend perhaps you'll wake up Saturday or Sunday and realize exactly what you need to do it's almost as if the fog is lifted this weekend for you and the temperance card indicates that balance will be restored for you okay um, you know if things have been a little bit out of zinc recently I just feel that you know it's all starting to get back to some sort of normality for you um, so yeah a lovely weekend on the whole with this three of cups energy um, and uh, you know the chance to let your hair down the ability to see things clearly and this beautiful temperance energy bringing balance and healing to a certain situation have a lovely weekend Taurus moving on to Gemini Gemini what's coming in for you this weekend 
Gemini. You've got the Two of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. Oh, a very practical weekend for you, Gemini. King of Pentacles. As I say, the energy is very, very practical. Very, very earthy. Very sort of um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We are now in Taurus season, so many of us will be thinking along those lines. So you've got the Two of Pentacles, which I feel drawn to. And because we've got the Knight and the King, I just feel that money matters um are very significant for you this weekend it could be you're getting some advice from someone um regarding your finances i do feel you're looking at your long-term investments at the moment it may be that you're thinking about investing in a project a venture a new business the knight of pentacles as well coming in for you um so yeah there's there's an opportunity to really sort of do something this weekend or make a decision about how you are going to proceed in a practical sense with regard to your future finances and any projects you've been thinking about investing time or money in. Now it could be that you are spending time with um, uh, an earth sign energy so it could be that you're spending time with a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn energy, and they may have some really sound advice to give to you. It might be they're, they're a partner. It might be they are, you know, um, a husband, uh, um, a wife. It could be that this person is a financial advisor. Whoever they are, they seem to have a lot of wisdom to impart. And uh, what you need to look at here, Gemini, is the long term this weekend. So, yeah, very much a financial or career orientated energy for you this weekend. Have a great weekend, Gemini. Now we're looking at Cancer. What's coming in for you, Cancer, this weekend? 23rd to the 25th. Oh, Cancer, the Six of Wands. Lovely card. Ten of Wands as well. Lots of Wands. And the Queen of Swords. Okay, lots on your mind, it appears. Uh, lots to think about and, and maybe you are in a very sort of analytical mood at the moment or you may find yourself in one this weekend okay um, now this is a, a weekend where I feel you need to make sure that your heart that beautiful um, cancer heart does not rule your head okay this is a weekend for thinking clearly about what's best for you and those around you um, it might be that you need a solution to something perhaps something's been weighing down on you because you have the ten of ones here so it does appear as if you know some of you may even be thinking about leaving a situation and you, you really do need to do what's best for everyone um, in the long term rather than allow an emotion to um, interfere with any decisions that you make. But I, ju I just feel that you want to draw a line in the sand here. The Six of Wands indicates that there is success coming to you. There's an achievement of some sort. I feel you've 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 kind of overcome adversity here, uh, Cancer, in some way, um, and you've reached a point that perhaps some of you never thought you would get to, but you've done it. You've come through, and here you are putting your arms up in the air and thanking the universe for helping you to achieve success in this situation, okay? But whatever decision you do make, you know, it, it's it's for the best. That's what I feel I need to tell you, okay? Even if it is difficult and a situation that you'd rather not, or a decision you'd rather not make, it's, it's something that, you know, just needs to be done. You know, um, it is what it is, is what I feel, but success, you know, this is um, overcoming adversity, Cancer. Have a great weekend. Moving on now to Leo. What's coming in for you, Leo, this weekend? 
what's coming in for Leo please what's coming in for Leo Leo nine of swords the wheel and the king of cups okay you appear to be worrying about certain changes that have been going on around you Leo um, I feel as if something has happened quite suddenly around you for some of you something perhaps unexpected with this this wheel of fortune energy um, coming in so what I want to say to you is try not to over worry at the moment you know because here you are um, here you are struggling uh, to sort of relax struggling to sleep at night some of you and I, and I feel that you're imagining all sorts of scenarios here. And it could be to do with a King of Cups energy, a water sign energy around you. So that would be a Pisces, Cancer or um, Scorpio energy. And this person um, is in your life or could be in, in, in your life right now and causing you to worry um you know you are a fire sign energy and you're usually very positive but but something is uh playing on your mind and really weighing down on you here and it is to do with certain unexpected changes and what i want to say to you um leo is that the will of fortune is kind of to do with fate and destiny so whatever's going on around you is meant to be even if it's a difficult situation for some of you you know change in itself can be difficult even when it's a good change that we really need so you know embrace this change as much as you can and try to go with the flow you know because no amount of worrying is going to change things leo you know that's what i want to say so yeah just go with the flow this weekend if you can leo have a good weekend moving on to virgo virgo this is your reading for the weekend what's coming in for virgo please what's coming in for virgo Virgo, the Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the Four of Wands. Okay, a bit of a mixture here with the cards. Um, you've got Pentacles, Swords, and Wands. Okay, so the first thing I do feel drawn to here is this Seven of Swords. All right, so the Seven of Swords is a card that has many meanings, but when we look at it in context, in other words, we when we look at it um, in in uh, contrast to the cards that come in around it, um, it appears that there could be someone here that is not taking, uh, how should I say, responsibility or full responsibility for their actions maybe or it could be this is someone who you feel you cannot trust if it's your instincts if it's your gut instincts telling you this and follow those gut instincts this could be someone who's acting strangely or has a negative way about them and there's just just something there there's something about them that you feel isn't right and whoever this is you know follow that inner guidance virgo because you are a very intuitive sign now the queen of pentacles here is asking you not to rush into anything especially if it's someone connected with this seven of swords energy it could be someone is trying to get you to do things that um are a little bit shady perhaps or uh, you know out of character for you so if it is then 
step into your earth energy this weekend Virgo and don't be pushed don't be pressured do things your way now there could be a queen of pentacles energy around you advising you about this actually could be a mother grandmother sister um, but someone who has an earthy grounded energy able to uh, give you support and good solid guidance and if they're if they're the ones that are telling you not to trust this situation it could be a situation or person then take heed of what they're telling you is what i would say and the four of wands here so yeah i feel this is urging you to to make sure that you spend some time um resting try not to overdo things virgo i feel you've been working very very hard recently and and you know this weekend if you can find some time just for you and perhaps those around you um to let your hair down you know uh a few hours off perhaps have a whole day off if you can will will really do you good right now okay but so you know overall um yeah it, it's a weekend where you you know watch out for this situational person and follow your gut instinct follow the advice of someone around you as well who seems very knowledgeable about this. Have a good weekend, Virgo. So moving on now to um, Libra. Libra, this is your reading for the weekend. What's coming in for Libra, please, for the weekend? Okay, Libra, you've got the Seven of Pentacles, you've got the Three of Pentacles, and you've got the Magician energy, lovely energy here. Okay, you can do it, is what I want to say to you. You can achieve whatever you put your mind to, uh, Libra, okay? So don't be put off by ifs and buts, is the first thing I want to say to you. You have plans, Libra, many of you, you have plans about growth, about moving forward, okay? Um, and you've already planted seeds. You're already at a good sort of point in time. And it's just a question of really expanding now um, and allowing yourself to grow. It could be to do with your career, I feel, many of you. Um, or certainly something that has a connection with your future security this could even be to do with your home life it might be that you wanting to change something with your home uh, perhaps you are thinking about um, redecorating this weekend making um, you know putting putting those renovations in that you've been planning for a long time You've, you've done a lot of thinking, you've done a lot of contemplating. You, I, I also feel you're going to get some help as well this weekend with certain people. It might be that you, you know, you've got the builders coming in or people who, who can advise you with design and, and that type of thing. But for others, this, this is about, you know, moving forward and taking the next step now, expanding something, perhaps your career or your business as something practical because we've got the magician energy here and the magician energy is telling you that your ideas are solid you know especially with all these pentacles your ideas are solid they're sound and it, it's just a question of confidence now libra you can do this you can achieve this you know this is mind over matter can you see here how he's what he's doing there how he's projecting his thoughts and sometimes we just need to put that out there to the universe okay so it's about self-belief whatever it is you're planning or whatever it is you're trying to expand in your life you can do it it's just about you know that self-belief and also manifesting you know you're putting putting things out to the universe all right and realizing you have that ability you know, self-belief is crucial at the moment for you, I feel. Have a good weekend, Libra. Now, the next reading is for um, Scorpio. Scorpio, this is for you. What's coming in for the weekend, Scorpio? What's coming in for you, Scorpio? 
Oh, you've got the three of pentacles and you've got the two of cups and you've got the empress. Okay. Oh, straight away, I have to say, some of you are thinking about moving in um, and a, a commitment in love. Okay, that's the first thing I get with these cards. Some of you may be thinking about this week, that this weekend, and some of you may actually be um, moving forward and, and physically, literally doing that this weekend. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I see a, a really close relationship around you. This could be a soulmate relationship, um, Scorpio. It's a lovely bond that you share at the moment with this other person. Very likely a partner, a lover, but could also be a family member. Could even be a mother or a sister because we're getting the Empress as well. But when we put these two cards together, you know, this is a beautiful love coming in or a beautiful love that's around you this weekend, all right? And you're wanting to spend time with this person. You're wanting to nurture this relationship. And some of you will be perhaps thinking about moving in with this person or making a commitment to this person you know i wonder if you're thinking about the next step um you know as i said some of you might, might be moving in but some of you might be thinking about uh engagements and that type of thing um but yeah there's, there's a really oh I, I just see you really spending time quality time because we've got the pentacles here as well quality time with someone who you feel very close to this weekend of course if you are still um unable to meet up with people it might be you're spending time on zoom perhaps but there's a real close bond between you and someone else this weekend and it just feels to me as if you're wanting to sort of move things forward a little bit um between the two of you in some way um, so that's for Scorpio. Have a lovely weekend. The next reading is for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, what's coming in for you this weekend? What's coming in for Sagittarius this weekend, please? Well, three cards that literally stuck in my hand. What do we have here? King of Wands, bang on for you. Wheel of Fortune, looking good, and the King of Cups as well. Okay, so, okay, first of all, expect the unexpected Sagittarius this weekend. I feel for many of you, this is going to be a fun weekend, um, and the Wheel of Fortune is literally spinning in your favour, okay? Something exciting is happening for you, for many of you this weekend, Sag, okay? The King of Wands energy, first of all, relates to your sign, Sagittarius. It's a, it's a fire sign energy and you're really feeling up for anything and that's why we've got this Wheel of Fortune, you know? Karma is really sort of working its wheel here for you and pushing things forward. I feel you're being propelled forward and uh, there's a lot of excitement some sort of change going on it could be a surprise for you um, it might not be something that you ha um, have known about it might not be something that you have expected but uh, it it you know as a sign as a fire sign you quite like surprises so I, I feel you really relish in this I feel you really sort of absorbing yourself in this energy this weekend a real positive vibe here and you've got the king of cups energy as well so this could be someone that's involved with this surprise or unexpected situation this king of cups water energy pisces scorpio uh, cancer type energy maybe a family member maybe a partner um, of yours but someone who is able to share in this wonderful um, change or unexpected events around you um, over the next few days so exciting exciting reading for you Sagittarius have a great weekend 
So the next sign is Capricorn. Capricorn, this is your reading for the weekends. What's coming in for Capricorn, please? Okay, Capricorn. The Ace of Wands, Capricorn. The Three of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles, lovely, perfect for you, Capricorn. You know you are an Earth sign. Pentacles relates to Earth signs. Um, so there's a lot of earthy, grounded energy this weekend for you, Capricorn. You've got the Ace of Wands as well. Really, what a lovely combination of cards. The Ace of Wands I feel drawn to, first of all. So something new is starting this weekend. A new beginning, a new door is opening. This could even be a new idea that, that suddenly comes to you. But you're feeling excited and impassioned about something. And it could have a connection with money. It could have a connection with family. But it's to do with something that provides security. It might be that some of you are starting a new venture here because we've got the Three of Pentacles or deciding to invest in something for your long-term future Capricorn and it involves um, lot, you know it involves the family as well perhaps for many of you it certainly involves your time and resources but it, it, it basically relates to um, improving your quality of life and those around you okay it's about long-term material gain but you are feeling very fired up and excited about something this weekend Capricorn um, and I also feel that some of you will be spending time with family this weekend and um, there's a lovely feeling coming in for you with this card this is a beautiful card the ten of pentacles because it relates to being around those who we hold dear and you're very much a family person Capricorn um, so this is lovely for you and uh, you know just getting the chance to be with those you love is is probably pretty much top of your list most most of the time, isn't it? But the Three of Pentacles, yeah, you're getting a helping hand here as well with with this idea. Uh, people are perhaps sharing their their um and give imparting advice and sharing you know the their abilities and and their talents in order to help you get something moving forward. But a fantastic idea. So whatever this is, it, it just looks really good. It's just a question of proceeding forward and getting the right help from the right people, which appears to be there. But it could really lead to something good. But um, yeah, a lovely, a lovely energy, lovely positive vibe around you this weekend, especially uh, with you and family members. Moving on to Aquarius now. Aquarius, this is for you for this weekend. What's coming in for Aquarius, please? What's coming in for Aquarius? Okay, Aquarius. You've got, oh, you've got your card. You've got the star card. Isn't that lovely? You've got the star card. You know, you. this is dreams and hopes and wishes coming true. This is the universe manifesting what you have been asking for wishing for let's look at your other cards you've got the five of wands and you've got the emperor you may find that you're battling with someone a little bit this weekend it, it could be you come head to head with an aries or someone who uh, is a fire type of energy someone who's pretty fiery and likes their own way and likes things a certain way Mm, so you might come up against them a little bit this weekend but it's it's nothing major it's just really you know with the with the five of wands we, we, we're talking about um you know unnecessary disagreements really sometimes it can relate to bickering um and and a little bit of a power struggle perhaps between you and this person you know, this could be a partner or it could be a family member. Uh, it will resonate differently. It could be someone at work, actually, for many of you, Aquarius, because the Emperor 
can often relate to the working environment. It could be a boss, right? And, um, you know, you, you often find that Aquarius are in, in leadership positions, but also you often find that the uh, sign of Aries is, which is what this card relates. You can see the ram here. So you could be butting heads a little bit. Maybe there's, you know, you've got, you've got your views, they've got their views. Whoever this is, it's, it's, don't be drawn into anything that's you know unnecessary unnecessary drama save your energy for this you know whatever it is that's that's manifesting for you this weekend because something's coming in you know the universe have your back right now so that's for you Aquarius have a lovely weekend moving on now to Pisces Pisces this is for you what's coming in this weekend dear Pisces coming in for Pisces please Pisces justice okay let's have a look at your next two cards seven of pentacles Ooh, something you've been waiting for Pisces is coming in for you I feel um and the two of cups okay lovely energy the two of cups now some of you maybe may have been hoping and wishing that something would work out long term with someone or you might be thinking about the long term with regard to future romance and love with someone it could be that you're already with this person and you're thinking of you know your future together or it might be that you are thinking about how you can meet your soulmate at the moment all right um, and I do feel that this, you know, this does have a soulmate uh, energy around it, um, especially with the justice card. You know, this is like a karmic connection between you and someone else. Um, and as I said, for some of you, this is a person who you already share this wonderful bond with and will be spending some quality time with this weekend and getting ever closer. This person is, you know, it's like yin and yang between you. You know, they they are someone who seems to balance you out. For some of you, this might not be a a, a lover, husband or wife, type energy this could be someone who you just love being around who has this way of balancing your emotions you know and helping you to see um, a balanced perspective on life especially emotionally as you are a water sign you can get a little emotional sometimes and it's, it's sometimes nice to have a grounded energy around us um, it might be that you're spending time with a Libra energy as well but seven of pentacles okay so, as I said, this could be also something that you've been planning for a while or you are looking ahead right now and trying to manifest that soulmate connection with someone, Pisces, putting it out there to the universe. But do have a lovely weekend, won't you? Thank you for watching everyone. Hope you all have a lovely weekend and do look out for my live tarot shows as well. Bye for now.